this morning, but it is important. And the first week of the maintenance checkup special at Schrock Innovations shows us why. And Thor Schrock is here to compute this. Good to see you, Thor. Good to see you guys. So you guys did these maintenance checkups last week, right? Yes. So oh. I imagine you saw all kinds of computers that came in that have not had a main, have not been serviced yes. in the last six months. So what are the, some of the things that you found? Well, you have to excuse me if I'm a little like giddy. I uh -huh. didn't get a lot of sleep this You've last week. Busy. We've been right. very, very busy. Uh -huh. But all three service centers are keeping up pretty well. So, you know, we've seen a lot of the of the normal stuff. So people who've never had a maintenance checkup before, um, we've seen a, a heavier distribution toward laptops than we've seen in previous years. People mm -hmm. are kind of moving away from the desktops a little bit, going more toward laptops, but they don't realize that laptops actually need maintenance even more so than desktops do. Um, so we're seeing a lot of laptops that when you put your hands on the top, if they're like hot to the touch mm -hmm. after you use them for a little while, mm -hmm. that's usually not a good sign, especially if it's an HP. You got, it means you, you know, you're ready for a maintenance if you haven't had one. Now some laptops do just run hot on the surface, it's not always a sign of impending doom, but it's a, if you haven't had a maintenance check in six months, it's a real good sign that it's they, time to get Are hot. they getting hot because dust has collected in there and the fan's not able to cool it? Is exactly. There's a little lint blanket built up inside that little radiator in there, mm -hmm. and so the air is not moving over the, the, from the fan, isn't moving over, mm -hmm. and it's just it's overheating. When, when you put these maintenance checkups on special, the, it's such a good deal. Yeah. People know, they wait for it. We're kind of conditioned now to expect that it's coming <laughs> every so often. Um, how are shops keeping up? Because if you're talking about taking your computer in mm -hmm. and I don't know if I got it's going to be a couple weeks I can't go that way. Oh come on a couple yeah. weeks know, come right? on this isn't the university tech store come on. <laughs> no so right now we're about two day turnaround okay. times in the service centers which is long for us usually it's same day next uh -huh. day so that's pretty long for us but uh, we do have the maintenance checkup certificates. There are some people you know people will ask do I need an appointment or can I get mm -hmm. an appointment so I get my computer back right away. The answer is we don't do appointments and no you can't get one uh, because we just have so many people coming in right now we can't mm -hmm. possibly do appointments but you can go on our website at schrockinnovations.com or you can come into the service center or call in and buy a preventative maintenance checkup certificate. It's good for 40, it's $45 certificate and it's good for six months. Mm -hmm. You can come in anytime it's convenient for you and we're not you know, slammed to the wall busy yeah. and usually get in and out in the same day. I wanted to ask you about that because that's the first time you've offered these uh, certificates yeah. for mm -hmm. the preventative maintenance. How's that going? Yeah, okay, it's been, it's been interesting. So we've got a lot of uh, people buying certificates from North Platte, Kearney, uh -huh. Columbus, mm -hmm. and you're just like, are you going to come in for a football game and like drop it off and come Chocolate. back next week? And <laughs> or no, they're going to they hope to pick no. it up that day. Probably. Or I would say their sons and daughters are enrolled at UNO or be. Creighton or UNL or wherever, yeah. or you know, and they're sort of getting the checkups for somebody else and giving them as a gift because I think that's one of the smartest things you can do you know, for that student. I mean, their livelihood at school depends on that device. Yeah, and that's one of the things that's blown our mind is that is you know usually people come in and they buy one certificate. Mm -hmm. We've had people buying two, three, four certificates, yes. mm -hmm. uh, and the distribution has been all across the state of Nebraska. Then I got emails from people outside the state like, so what's the procedure if I uh, get a maintenance checkup certificate for me to mail my computer in? And uh -huh. I'm like, mm -hmm. you know, geez, man, you're going <laughs> to mail it in for... I, uh -huh. I don't know that we can afford to mail it back. We're only charging you $45 for the checkup. You know, <laughs> come on. Uh, so you might want to, you know, we, we could do a Schrock desk and do some, some cleanup stuff. We can't blow out your computer over the internet, but we'll uh -huh. do the other stuff. Okay. okay. Uh, is it just for, just for PCs, these mm -hmm. maintenance checkups? Oh, or another good question. Macs, or what do you do? Well, this is the first year we've had people ask us, what about tablets? Tablets yeah. too, yeah. Yeah, That's so it's point. like, I have these Windows, we have, everyone has Windows tablets, like Surface tablets or modular mm -hmm. Windows tablets. And you're like, well, do they need maintenance too? And the answer is yes, they do. Uh, in fact, they need it almost more so than a computer because they have such a small amount of storage, mm -hmm. cleaning that out and keeping it tidy, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. it makes them run a lot better. Mm -hmm. um, Macs, especially, we had, uh, this weekend was a bad weekend for Macs. We have new Mac ransomware going around right now, it steals password screenshots, the whole bit. Uh, they can also steal your iPhone and iPad backups. It can inject stuff into your backups that then the next time you hook up your iPhone. Mm. Oh my. Yeah, so they can't hack the iPhone, but they can hack your Mac. So a lot of Mac users don't run antivirus. So having a periodic mm. check with a malware scan and things, it's a really good uh -huh. idea. So it's a good idea to get some antivirus mm -hmm. software too. But uh, so we do it on I Mac. was asking you about that antivirus, the endpoint that you yes. guys offer. Uh, mm -hmm. it, it's good for Macs, it's good for PCs yeah, as well, right? Absolutely. And can you, uh, you revamped your website not too long ago. Can you still get that on your website? Yes, PC users can download the endpoint antivirus directly on schrockinnovations.com. Um, Mac users, we have to actually install. We can do it over the Schrock desk. Wait, what? Is Isn't that, that crazy? <laughs> Look, oh, Could stop, you stop, 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 stop. I love the screenshot you took. Yeah. Are you serious I'm a with that fine. face? Look, <laughs>
We are all, we all have a strange face. You know, in the I picture. liked you before this moment. I oh, did. Oh, that was awesome. Uh, so the, you mentioned computers running cooler because you're basically taking off that lint blanket from yes. inside. What are some of the other benefits to getting a maintenance checkup? Like performance wise, what do you notice when you get your computer well, yeah. or your tablet back? If you've never had a checkup before, your computer can actually run about 25% better when you get it back than when you brought it in. So we're going to do all kinds of stuff. For example, we're going to make sure there's no viruses or malware because, you know, when you're running these programs in the background, they tend to sap up the resources resources. We're going to make sure that your computer is not running a bunch of garbage that it doesn't need to run. Mm -hmm. So if you have Secure Updater installed, you don't need to be running the Adobe Updater and this Updater and that Updater and the Skype Updater and the Firefox Updater because Secure Updater does all that. Yeah. So we've taken one program and replaced five. And so when we clean it up and, and optimize everything, we get everything running in a straight line, which like defragging, things like that, mm -hmm. which you don't want to do on a solid state. It's okay to do it on a regular drive, but not on a solid state. No. So we're going to go through and do all these operations. And when you get the computer back, it's going to run so much smoother because there's just such a buildup of gunk in the web yeah. browsers, yeah. Uh, in the in the temporary internet files and all that stuff. You just clear it all out, and it's almost like a fresh start. Yeah, well, Thor recommends getting your computer serviced every six months or so. So go to schrockinnovations.com. Three locations, uh, Village Point, Papillion, and a service center in Lincoln as well. I was looking mm -hmm. at your watch. What's this fancy? A tech guy like you, what is this watch? This is the Microsoft Band 2. That's the Band 2. Yes, this is the Band 2 two because the band one just isn't good enough. <laughs> My son gets the band one now. That's how technology works in the Schrock household. The 10-year-old. How does that work for you? You like that? Yeah, actually, it's pretty good. It, uh, it doesn't, it, when I'm on the treadmill, it tells me my heart rate's like 160 beats yeah. a minute. Yeah. So when you're moving, it's not exactly accurate on heart rate, mm -hmm. but that's true of all these devices. Mm -hmm. But no, it, it actually works pretty well. Yeah. Cool. Thor, always, find him on Facebook. I was curious what you're up to. <laughs> Thanks, so always, good to see you. Always, always. Thank our you, Thor. Our next guest represent two